All right, number one. So this is really just this fraction divided by this fraction. So 2m cubed n to the sixth over y z to the seventh. Now, again, you could write divided by that fraction and then do the next stage of flipping it. I'm going to skip that step. If you need to do that second step, that's fine. And I'm just going to move this up top. So 8y squared z to the fifth over 6m squared n. Okay. Now, I'm going to say that this 2 can go into itself one time and then into this three times. Or I could have reduced the 8 and 6. doesn't matter. I would still end up with the same thing. So right off the bat, all my numbers are done. 8 over 3. All right. Now, there are no letters to combine top and bottom, so I'm just going to cancel it now. But if there were on other problems, I might do this first, where I go m cubed n to the 6th, y to z5. But I really don't have to do this because there is nothing on the left fraction or right fraction the same. So I am not would not bother doing another problem like this. So I have 3m's here and 2m's here. You ask yourself the simple question, where do I have more? Top. How many more? One. N's. And it doesn't matter what letters you do. I have six here, one here. Again, I have more on the top. How many more? Five more. Y's. Well, I have more on the top. One more. Z. <clears throat> Where do I have more? On the bottom. How many more? Two more. And that's it. Now, in this one, I'm going to do the double whammy. I'm going to factor as I go. Again, you can skip this. You don't have to do this. You can do it in, in smaller steps if you want, but I'm just going to do that as we go. So what that's going to give me is I'm going to factor out a negative 3, and it's going to give me x plus 4. Okay. Now, you could also factor out a regular 3 and get x minus 4. You don't know what the best is going to be. As long as you want to positive, sometimes it's the negative. And it's only until you get the rest of the stuff to see what will cancel, you know what to do. This one, the 4x squared minus 1, is a simple difference of squares. 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And then again, I could do divide by this and then flip. I'm just going to go there right away. This is going to go on the top, and I'm just going to factor right away. So 2x and x. I need two numbers to multiply to give me three that differ. It's going to give me a negative five in the middle. So that's going to be three and one because three times two is six. And then one. I want more negatives. So that's going to be like that. And on this, the 15x plus 60, I'm going to take a 15 out, and that's going to give me x plus four. That tells me I made the right choice here by pulling out the negative three. But if I would have done this, very simple solution, I would just change it like that. And that would give me the x plus 4 to cancel. So that cancels with this. This cancels with this. Negative 3 goes into 15, negative 5 times. And I'm pretty much done. I have x minus 3 over negative 5, and 2x minus 1. Now, you'll notice the answer key. Instead, I have this answer. Same thing. It just is the negative here or here. No big deal. Okay, number 3. I'm going to factor. Two numbers and multiply give me 10 that add to 7, well that's 5 and 2, and they're both going to be positive. On the denominator of the first fraction, I'm going to factor a 5 out and get x minus 3. And I'm going to change this to times. I'm going to move the x squared minus 25 to the bottom. That's easy difference of squares. And then this is going to factor two numbers of multiply, give me 6, that differ by 1. That's 3 and 2. I want more negatives than positives. And now the fun begins. x minus 3 cancels. x plus 5 cancels. 
Now remember, you cannot cancel side to side. So that's just going to say I could write the x plus 2 twice or do that. And then I have the 5 and the x minus 5. And I'm finished. That's my answer. All right, number four. I'm going to factor this, 2m and m. I need two numbers that are giving me 10. They're giving me one in the middle. So it's going to be 5 and 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. I want more positives than negatives because that m is positive. The denominator of the first fraction. Two numbers of multiply give me 12 that differ by 1, 4, and 3. I again want more positives than negatives. I'm going to go right to this and move that m minus 3 up top because I'm doing the flipping. And here I have 2m and 1m. I need two numbers of multiply to give me 5. That's going to be 5 and 1. It's going to add to positive 7, so they're both going to be positive. And now I start canceling. M minus 3 cancels. 2m plus 5 cancels. M minus 2 is left on top. <clears throat> M plus 4 and M plus 1 left on the bottom. My answer. Number 5, factor of the top. Two numbers that multiply give me 40 that add to 13. That's going to be 8 and 5. They're both going to be negative because of that. On the bottom, I have a simple difference of squares. Well, no, actually, I'm going to do a baby step here because I need to take out a 4x. So this is not going to be a difference of squares. I got ahead of myself. There are sometimes you take out a number and have the different squares. If I take out a 4x, that's just going to give me x minus 4. I lost my x times the x squared minus 8x plus 16 is going to go up top. Two numbers that multiply give me 16 that add to, four, to 8. Well, that's going to be 4 and 4. That's a perfect square trinomial. And they're both going to be negative because of this. On the top, two numbers that multiply give me 12. 32 that add to 12. Well, it's going to be 8 and 4. And they're both going to be negative because of the negative here. So now I start canceling. X minus 8 cancels. X minus 4 cancels. X minus 4 cancels. So the only thing left here is the X minus 5. And here we have the 4X. Right, number 6. Now, this isn't even a complex fraction. This is just a regular one. So I'm going to take out an X and get X minus 1. Two numbers of multiply give me 7 that differ by 6. Well, that's going to be 7 and 1. I want more positives than negatives. Changes to times. 9X squared minus 4 is 3X plus 2, 3X minus 2. Difference of squares. And the top... 2x and x. I need 21 adding up to 11. So that's going to be 7 and 3. 14 minus 3 gives me 11. I want positive 14. There you go. Now the fun. x plus 7, gone. x minus 1, gone. Whenever you have something like this, I suggest you circle because it's easy to lose it. Like this 4x over here. It's easy to lose those when there's just a number or just a letter. Okay, and then, well, that's it. So we're left with top x and 2x minus 3. And the bottom, we're left with 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. All right, last two here. Sorry, two more on the bottom. So add or subtract. Okay, so this is just kind of reviewing a little bit. 
So I'm going to factor this to x plus 3, x plus 3. And this one's going to factor to 2x. A little more room here. And x. And then 5 and 3. That's going to give me 6 minus 5. So positive 6 minus 5. And my LCD is I need an x plus 3. But I actually need two of them because the one on the left has two of them and the 2x minus 5. So this one, I just need to multiply by 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5. Over here, I need one more x plus 3. So again, I'm not going to write the denominator every time. This is 5x times 2x minus 5 plus 7 times x plus 3. Distribute 10x squared minus 25x plus 7x plus 21. Simplify 10x squared minus 18x plus 21 all over x plus 3 squared 2x minus 5. Over here, I'm going to take a 2 out and get x minus 5. Here, I'm going to take a 2 out and get x plus 3. So my LCD, just need 1, 2, x minus 5, x plus 3. So this one needs the x plus 3. Top and bottom. This one needs the x minus 5. Top and bottom. So here I have 5x times x plus 3 minus, careful, 7 times x minus 5. That's going to be 5x squared plus 15x minus 7x plus 35. 5x squared plus 8x plus 35 all over 2x minus 5, x plus 3. Okay, here we're just simplifying. So again, factoring. The top factors x plus 3, x minus 3. The bottom factors 2x and x. Two numbers that multiply give me 45 that differ by 12. So not 9 and 5, but 15 and 3. I want more negatives than positives. Okay. Remember, excluded values, fact. State the excluded values first. X cannot be 15 or negative 3. Now, I cancel. That leaves me with X minus 3 over X minus 15. Final answer. And remember, we cannot reduce the 3 and the 15 because of the minus signs. Okay? So it's not x minus 1 over x minus 5. You also can't cancel the x's. Nothing cancels there. Number 10. P and P. Two numbers that multiply give me 40. To add to 14. To add to 14. So that's going to be 10 and 4. Both positive. On the bottom, 2p, 1p. I need to make 20 and leave 3. So it's going to be 5 and 4. Okay, because they're going to differ by 3. So 2 times 4 is 8, minus 5 is 3. I want more positives, so I want the 8 positive. And, oops, that's supposed to be negative. Again, I need to state that P cannot be negative 4 or add 5 and divide by 2, 5 halves. Those cancel. I'm left with P plus 10 over 2P minus 5. Again, do not cancel the P's. Do not cancel the 10 and 5. And that is it.